Hey garden friends, my name is Alexa and welcome to Bloom and Wilt Gardens and this third season of the tomato taste test review series. I have been taste testing all kinds of different varieties of tomatoes for the last two years. This is year number three. We have 19 varieties of tomatoes that we are taste testing today. Some of these I have grown in the past and have reviewed those in previous videos, but a lot of these are also very new. And I'm excited to share with you the taste profiles, texture, and just how these beautiful tomatoes look when they're fully ripe. I enjoy growing a wide variety of tomatoes in my garden because for many years I never even ate tomatoes. I didn't like them. As a kid I had a phobia against tomatoes. It's a whole story. Check out my first tomato taste test video where I dive into that whole story. But when I started to garden I really wanted to experience the world of tomatoes because there are over 10,000 varieties of tomatoes which is wild. In the stores that we see in restaurants they're just big red plain tomatoes or plain cherry sized tomatoes. As you can see on the table before me, there are just so many colors and shapes and sizes and just variety in this fruit that most people don't ever get to experience unless you grow them yourself. And so that's what I do. Since I am a backyard home gardener here in Northeast Ohio, we're sitting in my garden today and I have just an amazing variety of tomatoes that I want to share with you and inspire and encourage you to maybe try some of these varieties yourself in your own home gardens. So pull up a chair and join me for today's tomato taste test series. So I have dubbed 2023 the year of the dark tomato and that's because I am growing more varieties of dark tomatoes than anything else. I have 10 different varieties of the dark red, dark purple tomatoes. I really prefer the taste of a dark tomato over a red tomato. Red tomatoes are generally more sweet, higher in a sugar content and more acidic, whereas the dark tomatoes are savory, they're complex, they have this richness, umami taste to them that are just very different than a red or a yellow tomato. So it is a hot August day. You know, we're gonna cool down and enjoy some tomatoes. So I think I'm going to start off with the black crim tomato. This is the black crim. It's a really nice sized tomato. You can see it is a very dark red on the bottom and the top has um, some green shoulders. And the green is fine. Uh, how you know these dark tomato varieties are ripe are when the bottoms are turning color. So in some varieties, if they're supposed to be more purple, um, the bottoms will kind of get a dark red purple color. In ones like the black crim here, it's kind of this really dark burgundy, but you can see it's a lot darker than say one of these red tomatoes. How I like to do these reviews is that we take our tomato, I'm going to cut it in half here along the equator so we can get a nice view of what this beauty looks like on the inside. And then bottoms up. The black crim definitely has that savory complex taste profile. It's really not too sweet and very enjoyable. I have my cup of water here to cleanse in between. Hi, bud. Lucas has joined me for taste testing. So, Lucas, would you like to try a tomato? Sure. Really? Sure. You'll try a bite? Do you want a really sweet one? I'd try one. <laughs> Do you want to try this orange one? This one is really sweet. This is called the Sun Gold Select and it's a very sweet tomato. Mm -hmm. So do you, Lucas, do you usually like to eat tomatoes? No. no, so you're just trying this because you're being a good sport? <laughs> so if I spread it out, it's not my fault. All right, just. What do you think? You don't like it? <laughs> what does it taste like? Sweet. Sweet. Bittery. Bitter. What is the flavor of this tomato that makes you not like it? I don't really know how to explain it. Just, all tomatoes taste the same. All tomatoes taste the same. Do you want to try a bite of this dark red one? Ah. Uh. <laughs> no? More sweet. More sweet? Okay. But thank you for, for trying some. That was very brave. Mm. I know you don't like tomatoes. That's okay. You want some? 
water out of yep. my teacup. To cleanse my uh, tomato to, to cleanse. <laughs> Black brandy wine. Black brandy wine. It's very similar with the color profile as the one before. Um, the shoulders don't get quite as green upon ripening. The top is more um, of that dark red, but there's a little bit of green still on top. The bottom is squishy and nice and deep burgundy color. You know why it's called like black when it's not? The red and the green color tones mixed on these tomatoes make it kind of look more black. Mm -hmm. That's why they call it a black tomato. Okay. Down the middle. You almost did. I'll hold your stick. Careful. Nice. Black brandy wine. And we're gonna go ahead and take a taste. You wanna try this one? Um, maybe later. <laughs> maybe later. <laughs> I try for this B. Mm. Now this one is definitely not as sweet. It has kind of like a mealy texture, like just more meaty, not very juicy. And it's really not a very sweet tomato, but it's got a very nice, rich, complex flavor that I think it tastes very good. If I had to go for the black brandy wine between the black crim, I think I like the black crim better, actually. Do you have any like beets in the ground that I could eat or like peppers? There's pepper, do you want to pepper? Are there other common peppers? Uh, all right, next on my list is going to be the black sea man. And the black sea man um, is actually, has been my favorite tomato. Um, I grew it for the first time last year and this one just knocked it out of the park for me. It's a little bit smaller in size compared to the black brandy wine and the black crim, but really it's a nice, you know, good size for if you just want to have a tomato sandwich, it's all you need for one person. And this is the black sea man. Yep. The reason I like these ones so much is that they're really balanced between the sugar and the acidity levels, it's really in balance. And also they have kind of like this smoky, but also fruity taste to them. But I like the dark tomatoes that kind of remind me of plum. This black seaman and also the indigo apple tomatoes remind me of kind of a plum taste where it's like this really deep, dark, savory taste. And it has a lot of just fruity notes to it. And that's what I get with the black seaman. Pinkies up. Next one I'm going to try is this Japanese black trifle. So the Japanese black trifle, I actually bought these plants from MI Gardener at the actual MI Gardener store in Michigan. I have a vlog all about that trip. I will link down below if you're interested in checking that out and seeing what the store and the nursery looks like. But they had plant starts and at that point I had already planted all my tomato plants. I had 21 varieties this year that I'm growing in total and I really didn't need to buy any more tomato starts but they had this Japanese black trifle and that was one that I was eyeing up when I was doing my seed shopping. Since I saw the plant there I'm like okay so I brought the plant home all the way from Michigan, grew it and this will actually be the first time I am trying the Japanese black trifle ever. So I would definitely say these are rich and complex. They have a fruitiness to them, also savory, really not too sweet. Um, this one actually reminds me a lot of Black Sea Man. It's really good. It also kind of has just a, it reminds me of a dark grape juice. And in some tomato varieties, I get that kind of grape, grape vibe. Um, this is one of them. Wow. The Japanese black trifle, definitely really good. I think I'm going to have to <laughs> save seeds from these and make sure I'm growing them in the future. Moving on, we're going to try the Cherokee purple. So Cherokee purples are a big heirloom. You can see how big this one is. I've had a couple that were even larger than this. So they're really nice size. Again, they've got the really dark bottom, kind of green on the top. And look at that beautiful color. Mmm. Wow. This Cherokee purple is just packed full of flavor. It is juicy. It's like the perfect consistency inside between, you know, a smooth tomato and one that's too meaty. It's like right in between. It's got a really nice flavor profile. Again, it's more of that umami, savory kind of taste. Rich, and I would add like a hint of saltiness almost to it as well. 
Cherokee Purple. I've heard people rave about Cherokee Purple and I can see why it is so good. And, and really all of these different kinds I'm trying, these dark tomatoes, I like all of them. There's <laughs> hasn't been one yet I don't like. But yeah, this Cherokee Purple, that is something. That is something good. Next, we're gonna talk about the Dark Galaxy tomato. So if you can see, the Dark Galaxy has speckles all over it that look like stars. So this tomato is named because it's like a galaxy on a tomato and like the taste of these they're not my favorite however i grow them um, year after year because of really just how cool they look they're very unique they're a nice conversation piece so if i'm gifting away tomatoes i like to throw in some dark galaxies um, someone may think it's a sick tomato and i have to explain no it's just you know it's supposed to look like that it's really unique so my second guest today is my son anthony hi anthony Unlike his brother Lucas, Anthony actually um, likes to eat some tomatoes, certain varieties you like better than others, right? I like black ones. He so this is the Dark Galaxy. Now I think when these ones are ripe, they're a little bit darker on the bottom, so I picked this one a little underripe just to make sure I got this one in for the video. This one's definitely more on the sour side. Want to try? Oh boy. <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> yeah, it's sour. It's sour. So it could be more sour because it is, I think, probably, probably could use a couple more days to ripen. Um, I have reviewed this one in the 2021 and 2022 video. So you can go and check out those reviews, compare not a win for me on the dark galaxy this year but i know that i've enjoyed it in years past all right i did save this one for you because i know this one is one of your favorites it, the indigo apple oh, yeah. so the indigo apple is on the smaller side you can kind of see this um i would compare it more to like a plum size so they're smaller but they are also a really nice snacking size when these ones are ripe the bottom is going to be uh, a darker red and then the top is a dark purple almost black blushing on the top here you go sir here we go are you putting the whole thing in your mouth no we have a lot of tomatoes to eat you're gonna get full well what do you think luscious and juicy <laughs> luscious and juicy here's camera luscious and juicy so the, the indigo apple is luscious and juicy. I would agree that it is luscious and it is juicy and it's kind of sweet. It's got a fruitiness to it. Um, these ones remind me kind of like a plump. What, what did you expect? I know, nothing else. What did you expect? Those are all of the dark um, slicing tomatoes that I have. I'm also growing the Black Beauty tomato, but as of the recording of this video, the Black Beauty is not ripe yet but i have reviewed the black beauty in years past and i will link that for you if you want to check out on the black beauty all right so now we're going to get into three more dark um dark tomatoes these are cherry sized tomatoes that are dark so i have the chocolate pear the black strawberry and the rosella which one do you want to try first black strawberry black strawberry so the black strawberries are pretty big. Do you want me to like? No. I'm not a... <laughs> oh, wow. I lost it. I think Cosmo found it. Things are falling. So these black strawberries, um, they have a really cool variegation, kind of a purple, green, and pink variegation on them. They're tart. I'll call them that. What do you think they taste like? They're, it tastes kind of tart to me, like um, um, sour. Tart, tangy. They're not my favorite. I grew them last year and I grew them again this year just to kind of do a compare and see if I liked them more, but I still am not crazy about these. What do you think? You always call me a tart. <laughs> I call you a tart? What do you think of the taste? Good. It's good? I don't do you really like it? I don't, mean, I don't really taste anything. It doesn't taste like anything special? nothing no. special to you no. well i guess that's enough to say if it's nothing special or memorable then it's just kind of got a tomato vibe got a tomato vibe i would hope they all have tomato vibes <laughs> all right let's do the chocolate pear so this is a pear shaped tomato um obviously it is kind of a dark brown like chocolate mm. oh. 
You don't like those? I love these. Oh. I think they're so good. Mm -mm. I would say it's very savory and it's not sweet at all. It's got very kind of like, um, well, like most, like that dark, smoky umami taste. Umami taste? Yeah, you don't know what umami is? No. <laughs> so, umami is the savory or meaty taste of a food. It's actually a Japanese word. The umami taste comes from three different compounds in the food. Oh, my meat. That is found in meat and plants. And those um, compounds are naturally found. They're called, I wrote it down, glutamate, inosinate, and gua Guatemala. guanolate. So those are the, the naturally occurring compounds in um, plants and meat that produce a savory kind of taste. And that, to, to say it all in one word, is umami. 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 <laughs> when does soil grow? This, I, I don't even... I was like, when did the corn grow? I was here yesterday and this was not Um, It's been growing for the last few months. I have not noticed it this high. <laughs> well, the chocolate pear, I like it. You don't like it, but that's okay. Oh. We can have different opinion. So I have my teacup here with some water to cleanse my palate. You don't have to talk like that. We also have some fennel that we could... You want to cleanse your palate with some fennel? Fennel has a licorice -y taste. Oh, you don't like the fennel. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna do the rosella cherry. And I have my branch here, but they're falling off the branch. No, give me the branch. They're falling off. Give me the branch. The purple one. Oh, See, right. they're falling off. I like grapes. They are like grapes. All right. Now these ones are very sweet, sweet and fruity with a hint of savoriness, but I would say low acidity. <laughs> They're rich. They're rich. Yeah. Rich, sweet, and fruity. You're a gold digger. Mm. That's what you like rich stuff. And that is all of the dark tomatoes. I'm getting full. All right, we'll do the red. Let's start, let's do this one starting with the red cherry tomatoes. So I have five different red tomatoes. <laughs> these are called spoon cherry tomatoes and look how tiny they are I grow these up by the house what the heck there's a spider <laughs> going across and they call these spoon tomatoes because they're so tiny they can fit on a spoon oh my god you don't like it, it tastes like black coffee really mm -hmm. black coffee I don't get black coffee I, do. I don't know how to describe it yet it kind of reminds me of ketchup which obviously well, I wonder why. Yeah, but ketchup has its own, you know, certain flavor. And I feel like these remind me of ketchup. I only grew these because they came as a free seed packet. But a tomato tastes like ketchup. I mean, it's a nice little snacking tomato. But I don't, I mean, the flavor isn't that exciting. What do I keep hearing? I keep hearing them. It's the church down the street. They have a bell. So the spoon cherry tomato, I mean, it is what it is. Why'd you drink all of it again? Because he told me not to. Oh my gosh. Next, we're gonna do the pink bumblebee. So the pink bumblebees are a very large <laughs> cherry tomato. I mean, in comparison, you can see how one is four times bigger than the other. Average. <laughs> These are way bigger. The pink bumblebee is one of my favorite cherry tomatoes, even though it's more, it's a larger than a cherry tomato. I mean, they're, they're just really big, but they have a really nice flavor. Mm. These are definitely on the fruity side. They're really meaty for a cherry tomato. A lot of cherry tomatoes are more like really juicy, but these ones are more meaty, a lot more pulp in them. What do you think, baby? Complex. Complex. Would you say they're kind of fruity? Well, I don't call things fruity. Not even a tomato? No. Only thing that's fruity is a fruit. Actually, a tomato is a fruit, though. Also, it is. It totally is. Because the seeds grow inside. That makes it a fruit. I, I swear. bananas? I think they have seeds inside, but they are picked at a young age. No. Yeah. They grow on trees. 
trees grow banana trees. Yeah, so apples are fruit and they grow on trees. Potatoes? That's not a fruit. That's a root. <laughs> the pink bumblebee, did you like it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, let's do the Mrs. Maxwell. Ew, there's a worm on it. This is the Mrs. Maxwell tomato. This was recommended from a viewer. So I grew it this year and I have been actually very pleased with these. It's a big red slicing tomato. You can consider it kind of in the beef steak category. And don't smash it to your face. I got seven more fish. And the Mrs. Maxwell was actually the first tomato variety that ripened for me this year. It was um, an outside plant. It ripened in the middle of July, a couple weeks earlier than the rest. And I was actually very pleased with the flavor. So they're nice flavor, nice size. They ripen earlier. And, you know, if you're looking for just a kind of a classic big red tomato, the Mrs. Maxwell, I mean, I feel like it's a good choice. Maxwell. Mrs. Maxwell is thick. <laughs> All right, dear. We did it on this side. It's got the, the thick part. Ah! Cheers. <laughs> I would say this one is balanced. It's a balance even of sugar and acidity. A basic tomato taste, but I mean, it's it's got something to it. It's not bland. I would give it balanced and distinctive. What do you think about it? I agree with you. Balanced and distinctive. Now, I definitely don't like this as much as I do the dark tomatoes. Would you, what do you think? Yeah. But. That was a bad idea, All right? You want some fennel? No, I need water to pour. I need like, what did you bite? A corn? Mm. You can't eat the corn leaf. <laughs> I didn't, I used it as a napkin. All right, drink that, you bubbled in it. This one is the Costaluto Genovese. So <laughs> these um, tomatoes are red. They're commonly used in Italian dishes and they are nice and fluted so you can kind of see the shape they've got these ridges which makes them really cool i have seen them be much larger the ones that i have on my plants this year are all about this size or a little bit smaller but overall it's a nice tomato i'm supposed to cut it open dear for what to show the inside are you confused <laughs> good the texture is kind of mealy it's got like a grittiness to the texture and the juice, like the gel inside of it, is like thick and slimy. I think I ate a hot pepper. What do you think of it? It's good. Yeah, it reminds me of kind of just like a classic tomato sauce would. So, I mean, I think these are good just for classic tomato flavor. It's just a kind of a balanced tomato taste. It's it's on the less sweet side. It's got a little sweetness, but not not a lot of sugar content. She likes to say balanced a lot. Oh yeah, do I say balanced a lot? Is that is that the word of the day is balanced? Yep. One more red tomato, which is the Big Mama Paste Tomato. Mama. Big Mama. Big Mama. So this is, <laughs> this tomato would be used for something like making sauce, um, like a Roma tomato, but this is the Big Mama variety. This one is actually a little bit underripe. It's still got some green and it's a little firm. So I don't know how good this one is gonna be, but it was the one that was most ready. So I think we should try it here on the bottom. Ready for Big Mama? Ah. Let it go. Let it go. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard and kind of bland. <laughs> I don't taste nothing. I think it's because it's not fully ripe. I mean, it's almost ripe, Why did but. You pick it? Because I needed to taste it for today's video. You waited a week? No, I couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> we, had, we had to do it today. So the Big Mama is kind of bland today, but I think that's just because it's a little bit underripe. I did review Big Mama in 2022, so go back and <laughs> see my opinion that day. Um, so that does it for the red tomatoes. The only other one that I'm growing, which is not pictured here today, is the Trip L crop. Are you done, babe? Yeah, all right thank you for taste testing with me today it was nice having you so now we're gonna go ahead and talk about four different varieties of yellow orange tomatoes so the first one is the Sartre Royalise now this one is just stunning in color it is a pale yellow all around the bottom 
And then the top of the tomato has a purple blush, purple shoulders that kind of start to streak down the sides. And I think this is just a beautiful tomato. I would think a dress or a top in this color scheme would be absolutely stunning. Um, and they make really nice uniform fruit. You can see the inside there, nice golden yellow. So this one is definitely on the fruity side and it has a really nice light freshness to it. Yellow tomatoes are lower in acidity um, and usually have a decent amount of sugar content. So the Start Royal Lease I'm describing as being sweet, fruity, and very fresh. It's definitely a winner in my book. I've also learned that yellow tomatoes are lower in histamine, where red tomatoes have a lot of histamine, um, which can cause inflammatory responses in your body. The yellow tomatoes are lower in histamine, so if that's something that resonates with you, uh, if you're on a low histamine kind of diet, uh, look into seeing if yellow tomatoes are approved by your doctor, and if that's something that you can try to keep some more tomato love in your life. Next is Thornburn Terracotta. This is a orange tomato, kind of an orange brown, it's a terracotta color. And I had seeds that were gifted to me by a viewer and I went ahead and planted the seeds and I am really thrilled with how these tomatoes um, have produced. The plants have been very productive and also make a really nice uniform fruit. And on the inside, it has got that orange and also kind of a green gel color. These are definitely on the savory side, I would say very low in sugar, kind of got that complex richness, sort of similar to the purple dark red tomato varieties, kind of that umami just savoriness, but it's a little different and I'm trying to figure out what the right word is to explain it. I, it could be fair to say that the Thornburn Terracotta just has a distinct flavor all to itself umami, savory. It's really good and I think I would grow this one again. Maybe earthy? Earthy could be a good way to describe this. So now we'll try these cherry tomatoes. These are the Sun Gold Select 2 cherry tomato and they're a nice average size for a cherry tomato. Now I've been snacking on these all summer. They are so sweet. This was the first cherry tomato to ripen for me. If you could bottle up sunshine, I think it would taste like this. They're really juicy, so sweet. Kind of reminds me of orange juice almost, like they're that sweet. A lot of people have been telling me to grow the Sun Gold Select. I'm really happy I did. This is definitely a keeper in my garden. And I thought that, you know, kids would love them. My son doesn't love them, but <laughs> your kids may like them. Sweet and fruity and delicious, the Sun Gold Select. And last on today's video, we're gonna talk about the berries crazy cherry. And it's getting a little crazy because they're just falling off the vine here. Um, I wanted to show how these clusters form on the vines. They get these huge clusters of this grape kind of shaped yellow tomato. And I've grown these for several years because the flavor is outstanding with the berry crazy cherry. They are fruity and they are light. They remind me of white, white grape juice. They're just so delicious and super prolific. Mmm, it's so sweet. It's so fresh and light. I can just snack on these for a long time. Like my whole meal could just be these. They're just really easy. A nice balance of sugar, sugar content. I mean, it's not super sweet. They're, they're less sweet than the Sun Gold Select, but they are still sweet enough to just make your tongue dance a little bit. The berries crazy cherry is very fun. I will continue to grow this each year. Well, and that does it for this year's tomato taste testing review. I am stuffed. <laughs> After eating 19 different tomato varieties, I think I'm good for a while. And just in case anyone's wondering, nothing is going to waste. All of the tomatoes that I bit into, I've got them in baggies here. They're gonna go in the house. So I'll continue to snack off of these or freeze them. And they're just for my family, so it's fine. But what a world it is having so many different tomatoes to try and enjoy. Growing tomatoes is so much fun. It is one of the crops that I would suggest all home growers try to do. You can get a lot of fruit off just one tomato plant. 
So I think after today, I am probably somewhere between 50 to 60 different varieties of tomatoes that I have grown and taste tested and shared with you all here on YouTube. And you know, if you haven't checked out the last two year of review, go and check those out because there are so many tomatoes out there in the world. And I want you to experience a world of more than just a red beefsteak tomato. There's a taste and flavor profile out there for everyone. You just gotta find the one that works for you. So I hope you will be growing tomatoes in your own home gardens. And if you try any of these ones that I've shared today or in past videos, I would love to hear about your experience with those tomatoes, any growing tips you may have. Do you love them? Do you hate them? What's your favorite tomato? If you at all enjoyed today's video, I would appreciate it if you left me a comment, even a heart emoji or a tomato emoji below. Your engagement on these videos does help my channel grow and to be seen by more viewers. And I have a goal to get the tomato love awareness out into the world and I need your help to do it. Thanks so much for being here. Make sure you do something you love today. It's a beautiful day. I'm sitting in my garden. I'm here hanging out with a sunflower. I am loving life. Make sure you do something that makes you happy and love your day just as much. Take care. Bye.